Lady Eels, Eels, and Orangutans. This is Nick Flanagan Weekly. You're listening to the podcast that comes out sometimes and is enjoyed by many. I have a number. I'm not going to give you that number. I'm just going to say it's a decent amount. People like it. People enjoy the podcast, and I enjoy doing it, and that is why it's happening right now. <clears throat> anyway, I'm actually going to be interviewing a friend of mine in a moment, and I am excited for that, Allison Baker, but I thought I'd do a little solo pod just to get my brain working. I'm still here on Toronto Island, the wonderful island, a mere moment away from Toronto. Ten-minute ferry, quite a frustrating neighborhood to go to to get here, but it's all worth it once you land on that green grass. And then it's then you're back in the city, and you're like, oh no, I'm still in that crazy place. I'm still I'm back in the shit. I'm back in the shit. I do love being out here at this uh, studio residency. Uh, I have a desk to write on and a desk to record on, uh, like a drafting table. I talked about this in the last episode, and it's fucking great. I'm crazy for it. I've never, maybe this is something other people have had, especially artists who are maybe listening, but I haven't had a room like this to do my thing in, except for when I've been here before, and it's been about four, three or four years since I have. And even then, I don't remember having a room this size. This is honestly the perfect size for what I'm trying to do. And I am sad I'm going to have to leave it in six days. But maybe I'll try to replicate it other in another place, in another time. And yeah, they reopened town, Toronto, Ontario, the province, to something called Stage 3. So gyms, cinemas, but they're open and for business. But biz, gym biz, cinema biz. And, you know, it's, it's I, I gotta, I can't lie. They sprung this on us two days beforehand. Hey, we're opening to stage three. Businesses, get ready. They could go inside of you. Uh, from the day I found out, I was like, oh, no. Deep anxiety gnawed at me like a dog nods on a whale bone in a museum. And the security guards see it and go, you dangy, you mangy mutt. And then the weekend came and it was rainy. This, this island has tourist elements to it, and uh, I, I was worried that it would just be overrun, that the nude beach would look more like a nude desert. You know, like a big desert, but it's all nude people. In fact, it's not sand, it's naked beige. Ah! And then they didn't really show up. It was rainy, and it was fine. And, oh, it's so amazing when it rains out here. And, and what's great is the rains are like, the rains are mighty, but they're brief. So you wind up getting these beautiful rainfalls, and the, the grass gets super green, and f frogs show up, and then... It's still sunny in the same day. Today there's been thunder, sun, rain, moon. Moon's coming up. And uh, it's Sharky's day. And I'm Sharky. That was a Laurie Anderson reference. Um, yeah, so we uh, here, anointed artists on this Islander treat uh, I, I, I hope everyone else here is having a good as a, an experience as me, which may not be true because <laughs> last Friday there was a beach rave. There was a rave on the beach. And 
It was loud. Not quite so loud where I'm doing it, and I keep vampire hours on top of that. Hollywood vampire hours. Find me at the Viper Room any day of the week. I have been to the Viper Room twice, and the bouncer was nice to me. I feel like if I kept going, I'd be a bit of a, a bit of a hon honored guest. But that'll never happen anymore. Nobody can travel anywhere. This beach rave was thumping. And me, I've got FOMO, even for bad things. You ever have that where you're like, geez, I wish I'd been at Woodstock 2000. Oh man, it would have been so cool to be on the Titanic, playing the violin, playing in the orchestra. Um, so I was like, let's check it out. It's right behind where I'm staying. I'll hear it anyway. And uh, it wasn't as big a rave as I was hoping. It was maybe 25, 30 people not respecting social distance for the most part. Uh, two kind of turntables and very loud sound system. I sat on a log kind of nearby and uh, just contemplated life. Meanwhile, this gentleman passed me by. I mean, I gotta say, this beach, when you sit on the log and you look ahead at the lapping, calm waves, you know, the little wave, the ripples, oh my god. God's bathtub. That's what I call Lake Ontario. What do you call it? Write weekly podcast at gmail.com. W E A K L Y podcast at gmail.com to let me know what you call a Lake Ontario. So, anyway, I'm sitting on the log, looking out onto the beautiful sea, and guy passes by me he says peaceful spot dude okay I'll take it that's nice and um, I notice he's facing the ocean as he passes me what's he doing in there uh oh what's he doing by the by, by the lake it's not an ocean and, and, and why is he standing there for so long? Why is he kind of leaning back, but kind of leaning his crotch forward? What could be happening? So, I'm sitting on the log. He passes back eventually, and he leans right into me, and he goes, you know, like, there's nothing to... And I just go, dude, like, you gotta back up here. I'm not that guy. I'm not, like, veteran of a rock who's in a bar, and you lean in, and you go, what... But, like, in a pandemic, yeah, I'm going to tell you to get, give me six feet and an ounce of space. And so I say, get back. He, he does back up. He goes, is there no better feeling than, like, urinating in an infinite pool of water? And I think that that's, like, such a great metaphor for uh, the shape we're in. It's not an infinite pool. If a meteor hit, yeah, something's happening to that pool. It's not infinite anymore. There's a finite amount of water in that pool, in the lake. It goes deep, but there is a bottom creating, and there are walls, sea walls, they call them, lake walls in this case. Finite amount of water, not infinite. It's not even the biggest type of water mass. So this is what we're dealing with, folks. Raves. I also saw on a piece of driftwood, I posted this to Instagram, uh, somebody, <laughs> somebody this amazing stencil of like super dark paint, gothic lettering, ACAB. All cops are bastards. And they put the ACAB thing on like a, large piece of the like, dead tree driftwood that's on the beach <laughs> just so if you're enjoying your time don't forget all cops are bastards <laughs> it is an awesome stencil and like respect for putting it on something dead 
anyway. But it's kind of a contradiction, right? This whole, like, not all cops are bastards, but just like, I went into the city today, and let me tell you, if a car had hit me, and I was like alive and my phone wasn't broken, hello, police! License plate number is this. And yeah, when they say, actually, we don't care. Well, then all cops are bastards. But I, I gotta call them if I'm hit by a car. I might even have to call them if I get home and my stereo's gone. Just for insurance purposes, mostly. But you don't call them on a mental health call. You don't call them for a... Uh, a loud party. I mean, I really want to call them for a loud party, but you shouldn't. Anyway. Life's crazy. There's a new song with DMX, Method Man, and Nas. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go. I got things to do. Places to be. Thanks for listening. Kofi.com slash Nick Flanagan if you want to throw a dollar or two dollars at me. Time's getting tight. And you're probably tight too, but if you're not, you can spare something to help support the show. I love that. All right. You're wonderful. Take a load off. Have a great night. Or day.